All right. Hello, and this is going to be the first video for Giant Ground 2000 All Japan Pro Wrestling 2. Now, this is a 15 man league simulation. And basically, we have it, and there will be three rounds there will be round one, round two, and the finals. But after each round, after round one and round two, we will have a loser's match to determine 10th place and 4th place. So how this works out, round one will be three five-man leagues set for 30-minute time limit. And the top three from each of those leagues will advance to round two, while the bottom two will compete in a no-time limit league for 10th place. We move on to round two. And there'll be three three-man leagues for 60 minutes. And the winner of each league will advance to the final stand. The bottom two from that, from those leagues, will compete in no time limit league for fourth place. Now the finals will be the top three competitors who made it to the finals will compete in three leagues. One 30 minute league, one 60 minute league, and one no time limit league. And the overall winner is the champion. And this is how round one works. So round one, five minute league, league A, these are your competitors. For league B, these are your competitors. And for league C, these are your competitors. And just in case, you want to know how I'm going to differentiate them? This is how we're going to be doing it. Now, this game has a stamina handicap. And so, for round one, everybody's stamina will be set to 100%. For the battle for 10th place, everybody's stamina is set to 50%. The battle in round two, the stamina is at 125. The battle for fourth place, it will be at 75 and the finals will be at 150% tie breakers or rematches only for scores that will affect competitors placement in the tournament so basically what what that means is let's say for round one you have two people with the same score and they're number three and number four since the bottom two will be going to the what's the name the battle for 10th place will have the people who are tied for third place compete in a rematch and the winner of that will be going on to round two and the other one will be going to the battle for 10th place. Now that's how we work it for auto and, and if two people are like tied for let's say also in round one we have two people tied for first you know then we won't be doing nothing because they will automatically be moving on to round two anyway. So it's only for scores that will affect the place comparator's placement for the next round. For the next phase of the for the next stage and stuff. That's if they're going to round two or they're going on to the finals or they're going on to one of the battles for either tenth or fourth place. So that's the only way we'll be doing tiebreakers. No tiebreakers for people who are both going to the same place anyway. You know, and also that's how it work for the finals. So basically, for the finals, we'll have tiebreakers for each league if we need to, to determine the overall winner for each league. Because the winner of each league will get additional one point for winning their league. So basically, if you win a league, instead of getting just you know two points to everybody two points to everybody zero you'll get three points for winning the league you know I'm not sure I may end up doing that but basically that's what it is and like let me talk a little bit more about some other stuff oh so basically I basically did you know every three that's how I designed the league so we got one four seven Nine, no, one, four, seven, ten, and thirteen is League One. Then two, five, eight, eleven, and 
14 for League 2 or League B, and then League C is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And we're basically using the watch mode for this game because the tournament is for 15, and also I'll have to be playing along with the game and stuff like that. So it's for that sake, we're just going to be doing leagues using the watch mode because there's no league mode on this game. And let me see. And this is basically how the options look on this game, you know. Except for easy, normal, and hard. You, as you already know, we're only going to be using the hard difficulty level. And then the stamina, we're going to vary that throughout the competition. The stamina gauge is turned on, as in you'll see the stamina bar at the top of the screen during the matches and reversal thing. Flash to dedicate. Yeah, we'll keep that on as well. You already know the differential with the time limits and we'll have it on normal screen instead of widescreen and sound I do want it on mono but stereo will work just as fine for this game that's the only time it really affects games is when I'm playing like the 64 ones all the other games it's not really too much of a no I mess up its sound when it's on stereo and one other thing this is the last thing I got to talk to you about for in this video, this is the emulator that I will be using. Now, I'm finna click on Ultimate Fighting Championship real quick just to show you what happens. So here go the game. It's starting up. You know, Sega Dreamcast. And nothing. For whatever reason, I can only be using one game at a time. I don't know how to set it up for I can play both games at the same time and stuff or play whichever one I feel like playing, but that's what happens. Now, this is the game that we're actually using for the tournament. Oh, again, this is Raycast. That's the name of this emulator for Sega Dreamcast games. And now let's start up Giant Ground 2000 Ultra Pro Wrestling 2. Now, Let's see what happens this time. This time the game is going to start. So the game is about to begin and stuff like that. This is how the stuff looks on here. You know, the keyboard stuff, or the controls, the controls and stuff look on here. I believe it's the third one. And this is basically. Oh, my bad. So, this is really what we do for the dudes in the center of the game. We need to have the characters. As you see, this is. One, the Jeffrey. Miguel. He's a virtual fighter, which is the second person to the fighter case, and Coach Mark, Michael, Mark, or something. I'm not sure where he's a Michael, but he's also a virtual fighter, and this is, you know, your top tier, he's a virtual fighter. And this is the actual wrestler that's just up. Top four from you know all the kind of players. So these players at the top, as you can see right here, are wrestling personalities and wrestlers from all the kind of players. While these three right here at the bottom are actually you know characters from the game that you were playing. I like the fact that they were able to do that. And stuff like that. I'm not sure who's all going to be on. You know, Giant Jam 2000 Ultra Pro Pro Wrestling 2. But for what reason, I can't play that game in here, so we'll have to be done sometime in the future using like a better phone or a laptop or a computer. But this is the other thing I'm going to tell you. I'm going to do this right quick. I'm going to go back into this. Right? And.
they see what it does if I go out of the game and start it all the way over from the beginning. From the beginning. So far, I won't have to be bothered with none of that. I will be writing down the scores as the matches happen to keep up with it that way because I ain't got all day to just keep on going in and out the game and to keep on messing up while I try to, you know, go into here and try to keep the scores up. So basically, if you don't know how this this um, scoreboard works, basically, let's say Giant, let's say Giant Baba won his first match. He'll get a circle, and his opponent will get an X. You hear me? And the star. So since he won, his opponent will get an X, and um, basically that's how it go for all the things and stuff like that. And it depends on how many wins you end up with at the end and how many losses you end up with at the end. And as you know, the bottom two will be eliminated. So there are one, there is only one virtual fire character in each league. As I explained earlier with the way I set it up, you know, every three people. So, yeah. Was it super random, but it was random enough where, you know, I just basically did it the way it was going to turn out. So with that being said, I think we can conclude this video. And I'm not sure when I'm going to get started doing these videos. I may finish another game that I'm currently doing simulations for, which is a Super Nintendo game. And I'm basically on the 8-man league, which is at the end. But I don't have to do this type of stuff because... That game has its own league bracket, similar, which is basically the same thing you see on Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. I'd be doing leagues for that, except for on that game, you can only do eight people, and that's the max, and you can only do eight people, period. You can't do less than eight, but I found the way to get around doing that type of stuff. But what's great about that game is that I could pick which match from the league I want to see, whereas... Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, it goes in its own order and you just have to roll with the way it wants to play the game out and stuff like that. So I'm not sure when I'm going to get back started on that game. And, oh, there's new stuff coming to Virtual Pro Wrestling 2. A lot of great new content coming along for that game when I get start back to doing those simulations. And basically, that ends this video. Alright? So again... I can't keep score like I want to while this game is on, so I'll just keep score on paper, then I'll put it on here after the tournament is, after each league is over. And yeah, again, these are the competitors, the 12 wrestling personalities from All Japan Pro Wrestling, and the three characters from um virtual from the video game series virtual fighter and this is the settings and stuff like that this is basically the, gonna be the settings for you know the championship because they're all set to 100 percent stamina and then you know no time limit 60 minute and 30 minute time limits yeah. All right. I guess I cover all my bases and stuff like that. And I explain what what's going to be happening and everything. And yeah, until the next one for this particular game simulation series later.